Hello everyone join me on my channel to enhance your knowledge on a very useful topic related to bioenergy I'm Neela Mishra It is necessary to highlight here that socio political discussion on our future energy supply has helped changing the image of biomass as a favorable renewable and profitable energy source in recent years technological progress and new processing methods have improved the fuel and handling characteristic of biogenic fuels those that have made the biggest difference in indian context are bricketing and pelletization from the solid fuel industry bricketing can be an interesting alternative not only for business makers but also for fuel clients the bricketing plants have been installed in india since the mid 90s most of them being self financing bricketers doing excellent business especially in western and southern regions of india brickets when replaced for firewood and coal provide a direct cost savings on the fuel to the tune of 25 to 30% as the combustion efficiency improves remarkably after densification in addition to such direct savings are the benefits of easy transportation handling and storage besides saving labor for managing loose agro waste biomass or cutting the firewood Today's presentation is a continuation of my latest video on biomass bricketing. In the previous video, I discussed about the fundamentals of bricketing process, which is summarized on this slide for a quick recap. The aim of this video is to provide an overview of the types of biomass bricketing technologies currently being used to make high-quality briquettes or pellets. Let's go straight to the topic to know more about bricketing technology. Bricketing process works quite well for a wide range of feedstock provided they are homogeneous and contain moisture below 15%. Moreover, the access to a sufficient quantity of raw material to run the bricketing machine sustainably along with transport and storage capacities are important considerations when thinking of using appropriate bricketing technology. On the basis of the compacting pressure used, the bricketing processes can be classified as high pressure medium pressure and low pressure as described in this slide high pressure bricketing processes use a heating device and normally carried out with material having inherent binders and hence no external binder is required medium pressure bricketing may or may not require binders depending on the feedstock composition of the raw material while low pressure bricketing invariably require binders There are several types of bricketing machines available for the production of briquettes. Their mode of operation varies from one working principle to another. As mentioned here on this slide, bricketing machine can be characterized as mechanical piston press, screw press, hydraulic piston press and roller press. So how bricketing machines work differently, what are their advantages and disadvantages? Let's follow this video until the end to understand. Firstly, mechanical piston press technology also known as ram and die technology which uses the rotary power of the mechanical device or the thrust of the cylinder to reciprocate the piston and the piston drives the ram to reciprocate in the forming sleeve to generate a very high pressure thereby compacting the biomass to obtain a briquet. A controlled expansion and cooling of the continuous briquet is allowed in a section following the actual die. The briquet leaving this section is still relatively warm and fragile and needs a further length of cooling track before it can be broken into pieces of the desired length. Since the mechanical press is electric driven and not hydraulic, energy losses are reduced to increase efficiency throughout. The achieved briquet densities in this machine are normally in the range of 1000 to 1200 kg per cubic meter. The main advantage of this machine is its simple and most cost-effective bricketing technology currently available in the Indian market. However, brickets produced are somewhat brittle in nature and may get damaged during storage and transportation. Next is screw press extruder type bricketing machine which consists of driving motor, screw, die and hopper and power transmission system. This machine uses the auger to press the raw material. it can be equipped with or without heating system as shown in the line diagram the raw material is fed to the hoppers which convey it to screw by gravity the biomass is extruded continuously by one or more screw 
through a taper die which are heated externally to reduce the friction the rotating screw takes the material from the feed port and compact it against a die which assists the build up of a pressure gradient along the screw the compressed material comes out of a die in the form of brackets different types of screw presses can be used such as conical screw cylindrical screw with heated die and twin screw due to high pressure the temperature rises liquefying the lignin present in the biomass which acts as a binder the most important feature of this technology is that brackets have higher bulk density than mechanical piston press it is normally in the range of 1200 to 1500 kg per cubic meter the machine is lightweight and runs very smoothly without any strokes the outer surface of the brackets obtained through this process is carbonized and the has a hole in the center which provides a passage for supplying air required hence promotes better combustion the only drawback of this machine is high power consumption and the high wear and tear of a screw moving on to the hydraulic piston press the principle of operation of this machine is basically the same as the mechanical piston press the difference is that the energy to the piston is transmitted from an electric motor via high pressure hydraulic oil system this machine can be made very compact and light since the forces are balanced out in the press cylinder and not through the frame the material is fed in front of the press cylinder by a feeding cylinder which often pre compact the material with ex several strokes before the main cylinder is pressurized the whole operation is controlled by a program which can be altered depending on the input material and the desired product quality the speed of the press cylinder is much slower with hydraulic press action than with mechanical which results in markedly lower outputs producing brackets with a bulk density lower than 1000 kg per cubic meter in other words this process consists of first compacting the biomass in the vertical direction and then again in horizontal direction this technology can be used to compress any forestry or agro waste biomass the output of the machine is high and uniform power consumption and wear and tear is also relatively less but the limitation is its high cost and finally the rural press which is considered as the global technology for bricketing densification of biomass using a rural press works on the principle of pressure and agglomeration where pressure is applied between two counter rotating rollers the granular biomass when forced through the gap between the two rollers rotates with the rolls and is pressed in small die or pockets the rotation of the rollers causes the feed to be drawn in from one side and ejected from the other in the densified form the final shape of the densified biomass depends on the type of the die used design parameters which play a very important role on the quality of biomass are the diameter of the rollers minimum gap size roll force and the shape of the die the bulk densities in this type range from 450 to 550 kg per cubic meter so this is all about the bricketing machines with the consideration of investment and facility requirement choosing the right type of technology is extremely important that will help to make the bricket business much efficient and economically productive now let's quickly turn our focus on the binders used in biomass densification in general biomass materials that have low content of natural binder molecules can be densified using external binders binders improve the cohesive characteristic of biomass by forming a gel with water helping produce a more durable product binders also help reduce the wear on production equipment and increase the abrasion resistance of the fuel however the important criterion for a suitable binder is its cost effectiveness and a binder must not cause smoke or gummy deposits binders can be classified in several ways two different sorts of binders may be employed combustible and non combustible although combustible binders prepared from natural or synthetic resins animal manure or treated dewater sewage sludge are preferred over non combustible binders which include clay or adhesive minerals which may be suitable if used in sufficiently low concentration holy in 1983 has outlined a comprehensive five group classification system for binders 
these are inactive film binders chemical film binders inactive matrix binders chemical matrix binders and chemical reaction binders you can go through the description of each class mentioned in this slide as is known proteins are natural organic binders that are activated through interactions with other biomolecules such as lipids and carbohydrates and the heat produced in the dyes plant alpha alpha has high protein content and thus can be used as a binder to improve the durability of pellets made from lower lignin content biomass materials the commonly used binders in pellet making are lignosulfonates or sulfonate salts made from lignin bentonite or colloidal clay is commonly used as non combustible binder in pelleting and is made up of aluminum silicate the general quantity of binders for effective binding ranges from 1 to 3% however it mainly depends on the feedstock chemical composition with this i wrap up this video you know day by day pollution due to burning of waste produced by agriculture activities is increasing the whole world wants to get rid of this menace through eco friendly ways biomass briquetting provide a solution to recycle this waste biomass in a way that does not affect the environment or any other lives if you find the content interesting relevant and useful please share the video in your network your feedback is important for my motivation to prepare high quality video lectures thank you for watching and for your kind attention stay healthy and learn wisely